Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. Virginia Lee Kitt, how you doing, man? I'm doing okay, and you, sir? I think it's in New York City, man. Things uh, kicking, New huh? New York is fantastic. I know New York City is kicking. Syracuse is kicking, too, with the Brothers of the Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity. 40th anniversary of Kappa Chapter of the Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity's great chapter here at Syracuse University, man. And God bless a lot of to all the brothers. They in town party, and they got another big party tonight in Armory Square, you know, so uh, we'll see yeah, what's yeah, happening. they're going to be at the home. Yeah, the Ohm in Armory Square. They got a big open bar store about 9 o'clock. I better stay away, man. <laughs> oh, but that's another story. Hey, Lee, give us a report of Syracuse University alum activity, man. That's right. This Thursday evening at the world-famous Lubin House, the Community Folk Arts Center invite all New York Metro area alumni and friends to a reception honoring the life, work, and art of the late Herb Williams. For a one-month period starting tomorrow and ending April the 30th, the Palitz Gallery of the Joseph I. Lubin House in New York City will show the art of the late, great Professor Herbert Williams. If you or any of our Syracuse friends and alumni come to the Big Apple, please stop in to see a life's work of the Community Folk Arts Founding Director. And please RSVP for Thursday night's reception to area code 212 826 one four four six. Again, that area code two one two eight two six one four four six. Or you can email to s u l u b i n at s y r dot e d u. Again, that's s u l u b i n at s y r dot e d u. Doctor Wright. Oh, keep it coming, Lee. Keep it coming, man. What does CBT mean for a professor like yourself who has experienced so many of them? I tell you, it means everything. It is my life, my love, the hope and inspiration of my trip to Syracuse University, man. I'm telling you, this has been an incredible treat, and it gets even better at this stage of my life, having taught many of the wonderful brothers and sisters who will be returning, and they're coming back with their children there, man. That's the next big thing. But the only thing I can say, it has been a terrific trip for me to Syracuse and Syracuse University and coming back together. Reminds me so much of African American homecomings that we had on historically African American college campuses like Elizabeth City State, North Carolina Central, Virginia State years ago. Yes, that's what it means so much to me. Well, fantastic. Sir, the network would like its participant base to register for this triennial event and to check in with the doc to share some CBT memories and expectations for the coming, coming back together. Oh, yes. Oh, the, uh, yes. the network is pushing this event not only for our alumni, but past CBTs have enhanced the city of Syracuse's nightlife during the CBT weekend. And I think the citizens of Syracuse really, really look forward to it. Oh, they certainly do. I never forget that one we had at the Gardenia years ago. And Tony Benear and Bill Francis, 360 ebony degrees. Oh, what a night. Jim Brown, Floyd Little, all the crowd in the house, man. Oh, it was something else. Diane Weathers. Oh, what can I say? What a night that was. Dr. Wright. Yes, Lee Kent from New York City. The Office of Program Development is putting out, putting out a call for CBC workshop ideas and panelists. To respond, you must do this before this coming Friday. For workshop ideas, put the words, Idea for CBT9 Workshop in the subject line and address the workshop description to p-d-e-v-e-l-o-p at s-y-r dot e-d-u. And to volunteer as a workshop panelist, put the words, Workshop Volunteer in the subject line and address your name and resume to, the, to p-d-e-v-e-l-o-p at s-y-r Dr. Wright. Right. Yes, Lee Kent. Oh, the newly formed New York City SU Alumni Club had its first fundraiser and meet and greet last Thursday. It was a success and a good time was had by all. Dr. Wright. Oh, yes, Lee Kent. I have some sad news. Oh, bring it on. I know as life goes on, there's always sad news, too, from the Syracuse University family, so give it to us this afternoon. 
Okay, this is this is sad for the city of Syracuse. Uh, this afternoon, CJAC asked me to mention to you about the passing last night of his really good friend, Stan Walker, photographer at the Post Standard. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, wow. Now, I have no details, but CJAC will contact you later with details when he feels a bit better. Okay. Well, let's end it right there. Yes. Lee Kitt, thank you. Dr. Wright, this yes. is Leak for the network. Lee Kitt, thanks for all that you do, man. Super job and getting ready for coming back together. Miss Evelyn Walker. Miss Walker. Tireless worker. Syracuse University. Larry Martin. Oh, yes. We're getting ready. And to all the brothers of the Omega Sci Fi fraternity, brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi, like Reverend Baum, and brothers from A Phi A Alpha Phi Alpha. And Phi Beta Sigma have been calling in at the radio station wishing congratulations to the 40th anniversary of Kappa Chapter of the Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity. Also, the sisters of Delta Sigma Theta have been calling in also. But that's another story. The network reminds you that you too may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315 428-1069. Don't forget the doc.